Hello, everybody. This is the Business Boot Up of the Dreamers and Doers podcast. I'm Brayden, and I'm joined by my awesome co-host, Sandy Grace. Hi, Brayden. Each week, we'll come to you live from the Normous Farmers Market, where you will hear interviews from our younger and our older entrepreneurs, who will inspire, educate, and give you action steps to help your own business. Our podcast is powered by LoveWorks Leadership, a youth organization right out of here in Oklahoma that help kids start their actual real businesses. We believe that you're never too young to start a business and be someone who turns their dream into reality. And with that, let's meet our first guest, Ben McDonald. Ben McDonald and Audrey Hartson began their guitar and fiddle duo, Sycamore, in fall of 2020, after years of performing as collaborative musicians on multiple instruments. They performed traditional music from many regional from many regional styles, including Scottish, Irish, French Canadian, American, Western, New England, and bluegrass. Audrey is an active educator for students of violin, cello, mandolin, piano, voice, and ukulele. Ben is the host of a long form music podcast, Listen, on which he interviews a wide range of people involved in the music industry. They both graduated from Central Michigan University with bachelor's degrees in music in 2019 and will graduate from the University of Oklahoma with a master's degree in music later this month. Hello, thank you so much for joining us. That's an awesome bio. Well, well thanks for having me. Excited <laughs> to talk with you guys. Of course. So we're super, super excited to learn more about you and your story. So we're going to start us. Have you always had this interest in music growing up? I would say, yeah, I think I've always been interested. I grew up in Tennessee, uh, right outside Nashville, which may have something to do with it, but my family is completely unmusical. Like, <laughs> really not at all. My dad plays guitar just recreationally. Um, but I joined band in middle school to play drums. Like I just wanted to hit stuff and play <laughs> loud. And I tried it and was terrible at it. And so then my band director was like, maybe we should try something else. And so I played saxophone originally, um, or that's when I, what I started with. And that's actually what I study at school. Like I'm a saxophonist first. Um, and then Audrey, my partner, is a, is a violinist. And like, like um, the bio said that we met at Central Michigan, University, and then um, with that, uh, growing up in Tennessee, one thing that was always a big love of mine was like bluegrass yeah. and fiddle music and folk tunes and stuff that. like that. Yes. But unfortunately, like saxophone is really not a part of that genre. <laughs> and so, um, in the past year, I picked up guitar and we started playing together, and had and it's been awesome. And then um, we eventually wanted to put get our music out there to the people. And so here we are at the farmer's market about almost like a year, a year later. So I guess that's how it's uh, how it started roughly. Yeah, so, you know, we kind of talked a little bit in the bio, but what is Sycamore? Okay, so um, Sycamore is a fiddle and guitar duo um, that consists of me, Ben McDonald and Audrey Hertzen on fiddle and me on guitar. And uh, like, like the bio said, we play a, a lot of, a wide genre of music, but just traditional folk music basically um and so the way that we got that name is uh right outside of our apartment is this giant beautiful sycamore tree and so we record our youtube videos on our porch on our little deck or whatever and in the background you can always see that tree and so that's where the name came from but that's, uh, yeah that's really cool so you guys he was he's always the one playing behind us in the farmers market so today we're hoping that our youngest entrepreneurs out there can learn what it takes to run a business and today we want to learn about how you can take an idea and put it into action and maybe even see how it becomes a business so how did you come up with your idea for your business well I think that ultimately we just started playing together for fun like I, I think that if you can find something whatever passion you have or whatever business idea and make sure that like passion and fun is a part of it then it just kind of soars from Flex. there I mean you're gonna spend the most time doing what you like and so for us we love playing music and playing together and so I mean it's kind of funny we don't even really think of it as a business, quote unquote. I guess it technically is because we make money doing it and, and sell ourselves and sell our music and whatever. But ultimately, we just do it because it's fun. <laughs> and, and that's what we like doing. Yeah. And so that's what I would encourage everyone listening to reflect on is just what do you like doing? And you should spend your time doing that and try to figure out how a business can wrap up within that idea. Yeah, no, that is awesome. So. What is, before you started, what was one thing that you wish you knew? That little, little thing. That's a great question. I wish I had known 
how willing people are to help, especially small businesses and young people in general. So because I think it's kind of intimidating often to ask for help. And that may be like for us, like, can we play at your event? Or would, is there any reason you would want music? Or can you help us with this or that or whatever? People are, in our experience, and I really think in my life, have just, they really do want to help, almost always. And so um, Loveworks is a great example of an incredible business that is just trying to help people. And so my thing that I wish I had known is reach out to people, whether you think they're going to be helpful or not, because they almost always are. That, that is really powerful. And I know our young listeners, they might be kind of like, they're kind of nervous to reach yeah, out to people. Yeah, it's, it's scary. It yeah, is. it is. But thank you for that. And so for our last question, kind of wrapping this all up, what's that like one tip that you want to leave with our listeners? I think my one tip would be find your passion, embrace it, and get after it. Ask people for help, but ultimately it's up to you to determine what you want to do in this world and you can do it. Don't so be just get embarrassed out there. by it. No, no, embrace it full, full out. And people, people get fired up from passion. You know, when they see other people passionate about what they're doing, that gets them fired up and gets them uh, also passionate about what you're doing. So just find your passion and get after it. I love that. Finn, thank you so much for your time. I know that we inspired, you inspired some viewers out there. So before we completely wrap up, what is, where can we find you? Where can our viewers find you? Yeah, so um, we're on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, uh, Sycamore Duo, at Sycamore Duo. Um, check us out. We've got all the stuff online. Also, like uh, in the bio, I'm a host of another podcast that you can listen to uh, long form interviews with other musicians and stuff. It's called Listen, and it's on all the, all the mediums. So all mediums. check us out. Yeah, and you guys are awesome. Again, thank you so much for your time. And viewers, we're going to be real quick right, right back with our next guest. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Welcome. All right, viewers, we are back with our next guest. Let's meet our next guest, Chris Willer. Chris Willer is a fifth grader at Cleveland Elementary School in Norman. Chris is 11, is a swimmer, act, artist, and actor who has appeared in several plays at Sooner Theater. He joined the LoveWorks Leadership Program in January and was accepted to the Business Boot Up Go Here in March. Chris was guided by LoveWorks staff and came up with the idea to market and sell over three dozen oil paintings in during the pandemic. So, hello Chris, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Brayden. That is awesome to hear. So, we're really excited to learn more about you and your story. So, what is your business and how did it start? So my business is Chris's Creations, and basically how it started was um, we I was I had painted a lot during the pandemic. I had gotten into oil painting because honestly it was July. It was like what four months into the pandemic. I was for those previous four months I was either on online school or on my Xbox or watching YouTube or something. I was bored out of my mind. So I thought. Why not just start painting? So I did. I started painting. And then um, in January, of course, I joined the Lovers Leadership Program. Um, and then in fe late February, I joined the Business Boot Up Cohort 1. And uh, from there, I've sold my oil paintings. Um, last week, we sold about 13. Um, and we made $96 uh, off of that, and we're hoping to make more today. Um, I'm really excited for uh, the upcoming um, so sales today. All right. So we are so pumped. Today we're hoping to inspire our youngest entrepreneurs out there to help up come with a product idea. So how did you come up with oil paintings? Well, it's pretty simple. So me and my dad were in my room and we were sitting down, and we were just thinking. I knew I wanted to do the Business Boot Up program because that's just something that I wanted to do. I thought it was pretty neat and I just wanted to do it. And we were sitting down and we were thinking, what would you sell? And I was thinking I could sell guacamole. That was my first option because we, at our house, we have Taco Fridays and I always, my mom always asks me to make the guacamole and it's so good. But my dad made the point that guacamole could go bad and that wouldn't be good. So then, scrap that idea. We got to thinking, and then my dad said those two words that started countless businesses. What if? He said, what if you sold your oil paintings? And at first I was reluctant to the idea, but um, after a while of thinking, I got on board. Um, 
published the pitch video to the Lovers Leadership Program. They accepted me, and the rest is history. <laughs> so that is really awesome. I love that story. I love guacamole myself. It's really <laughs> delicious. But I do understand you got to eat it quick, or else it goes bad. Right. So. What is one of your biggest takeaways of being a part of the Business Boot Up program? Well, um, one of the biggest takeaways is the fact that I think over the course of my selling, I've become less socially awkward or like less like scared to go up to people. Like well, the first time, I I am not a good person around complete strangers. Like around complete strangers, I am shy. I am like I will not interact with them because I don't want to like say anything yeah. that might like ruin their day or be weird or awkward or something I hate awkwardness so I just didn't do that and then I was and then I was taught over um, last uh, last week um, and that to uh, you kind of like built your confidence up right 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 right, right exactly I built my confidence up and it really helped um, my social, social skills, I guess. Yeah. Uh, because it's, it's, it's scary your first time, but you know, right, actually getting that hands-on did, experience. Right, because you don't want to go up to people and be like, hi, can you sell my painting? Can you like At the sell, same time, you don't want to be, you wanna anno annoy them. You yeah. don't want to annoy them. Right, that's what, that was what I was fearing, was annoying my customers. Um, but I pretty much got over that fear pretty quickly into last week. You kind of had to get over ago. it real quick, didn't you? Right, yeah. Throw <laughs> into the water, forced to swim. Right, right. So for our last question, we just want to let you give your like final tip to our viewers listening, just like you, of how they can start a business. Uh, my only piece of advice is to just go for it. Is to just go out there. Even if, even if the business doesn't seem like a good idea, or like you think it's gonna fail, or like it's not a good idea, or you're not gonna make money. It's not about the money, it's about the experience, and um, just go for it, honestly, uh, is all I can say. Another thing that I would say is, if, especially if you're selling at the farmer's market, um, or something, or as if you're selling in general, business is gonna be slow at first. Like, it's gonna get slow, so don't get discouraged, and don't think that you're the business is bad um, just because within the first hour you sold like what two of they just your don't products. know you're there yet right people come in at later times it's just nature of humans so don't get too discouraged uh, and just go for it Chris that was thank you so much you're awesome so we thank you such you know I know you inspired some people out there you inspired me a little bit today but we're not gonna end it just with that how where can we find you um well. This is my last um, Norman Farmers Market sell date, but I will continue to be at the Loveworks Leadership Program in Norman, Oklahoma. I will continue to go there next fall. I know that the spring semester just ended, um, and I will uh, we'll look more into this business fair this summer. Kids business fair this summer. We're looking for more sell dates, uh, but I know that I'll definitely be at the business fair. Uh, Awesome. I, I know our viewers, they're going to need to get some painting soon, aren't they? Right. I'll so, definitely paint some more. Um, <laughs> so, Brayden, those were some awesome interviews. I mean, we got great answers. They were awesome. So, what is something that you stuck out to you that the audience can do now? Chris, you really kind of hit it home with the story of the power of those two words, what if. And I think that goes right in hand with go for it. Because if you're not having that imagination, which I know you have that imagination, you're not going to get as far as you can. So I feel like those two words, what if, you know, viewers, like if you have this dream of like, what if we did this, go for it. These, who knows, you might be selling your paintings at a farmer's market. What about you, Sammy? What's something that stuck out to you? I, I loved how he was like, I didn't have these skills at first, and now he has them, and that's something that I love how he wasn't scared to do. And a lot of kids and a lot of people, they they don't talk about their, their weaknesses. They think that they're so well-rounded, but nobody is. Mm -hmm. Everybody has that weakness, and I love how he was like, that was my weakness, and I fixed it. And yeah. that, that just stuck out to me. So, guys, next week we will be back with two new business owners that will hopefully inspire, educate, and give you that powerful point of action to make your business better. So just a reminder, don't forget to visit loveworksleadership.org to learn more about us. And remember, real leaders, they don't blend in, they stand out. Dream big. And do your dream. See y'all.